I know, right? We're actually out and about. I mean, properly out and about, not in my little wilderness walkaway just down the road from my house. I am currently in the courtyard of a church called All Saints, which is Oxford Street. It's just behind those buildings that way. I'm just trying to find a nice little quiet place to do this bit because Oxford Street always seems to be constantly sort of being built. And uh, yeah, I thought I would uh, take you guys with me, try to break back into the photography side of what I do. So uh, grab yourself a coffee, relax, and enjoy the video. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nathan. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail, by the way. Now, what's the plan? What is the mission for today? The overall mission is to see if I can actually get back into taking photographs again. I can't remember the last time I actually went out and took photographs in the street. I think it was when I was doing my sort of moving pictures and it was quite a really cold, foggy day. So I've had the entire summer off concentrating on other subjects and other sort of jobs, anything like that. So I've not actually come out and done a photo walk for quite some time. So it's probably a little bit about sort of rekindling my sort of eye and making it sort of, I don't know, kickstart the engine, I suppose the best way for it. Now, if I planned this video the way that I wanted to, you would probably have seen a few photographs already. If I haven't, and I've completely messed it up, you're gonna see a few very, very shortly. But I've just walked past Oxford Street and I'm now sort of just off the sort of Regent Street area. I'm gonna head down towards Piccadilly um, Circus, which is right down here, which is always a nice place to take some street photographs. And I am gonna sort of try to concentrate on the sort of lifestyle, the sort of the moving world around me, not necessarily ar architecture shots, but the people that sort of exist with this wonderful city as a backdrop. So um, I'm very into my sort of black and white photography at the moment. For those of you who are close enough to me who see me on Facebook, um, we'll see that I do a lot of my sort of family photographs in black and white at the moment. I'm really sort of into that. I don't know if I'm gonna sort of like stick to that or how much I'm gonna go forwards with the whole sort of black and white photography side. I do prefer black and white photos over pictures. And even though my own personal work is quite a grainy sort of like old school type of feel, I don't do anything bright and vibrant or anything like that. But um, let's carry on. I'm gonna come back out of this street because Liberties is right here. I'm gonna go onto Breeden Street and walk down and maybe nip into the Soho area a little bit as well and uh, see who's who's keeping this city ticking. So I'm currently at Piccadilly Circus now. The Angel Eros is coming to have a bit of a steam clean, as you can see, just here, and a bit of a clean up after probably a very heavy summer of bum sitting. But um, yeah, just walk down Regent Street. I've not popped into Soho yet. That's, I'm gonna do that on the way back to Oxford Street Tube Station. So I'll do a bit of a loop to loop. Um, I've the tripod with me, just in case I want to see if I can get any sort of like long exposure shots because um, I'm sort of just, like I said, I'm testing out what I can do, what I can remember. I've got my camera on aperture priority at the moment because I don't want to think too much about my settings today. Because one thing I have also noticed is that my quick draw isn't as quick as it used to be. I've missed quite a fair few shots that I've wanted to get because I've just not been quick enough to bring the camera up to my face. Uh, apologies if you can't hear me very well, I'm right by the main road. So hopefully you can hear me reasonably well but um but yeah that's one thing i've definitely noticed the rustiness in the shoulder bringing the camera up to get the shots so i've not got all the shots that i've wanted to get which i'm i'm not upset but i'm sort of like gutted but i suppose that's going to come back in a little bit of practice 
But what I have realized is that my shyness to take photographs in the street is definitely not gone. But I'm currently in one of the busiest tourist locations in London, talking to a camera. And I've never really been fussed about the people walking past, looking at me, maybe waving in the background. Let them enjoy themselves, let them have a bit of fun. And I'm just doing my job. So uh, that's nice, that's good. I'm not, I'm not worried about the sort of the shyness which I did have when I started this job, that's still there. The confidence to have the shot, to take the shot is still there, even though the, uh, the quick fire isn't quite. So we're gonna hang out here for a little while. I've got some reels that I want to do for the green room very shortly, just around the corner, because I'm not far from the comedy store. So I'm gonna do some reels for that. So that way we can try to get some more bums on seats after our wonderful standing ovation on opening night. But uh, guys, I hope you're enjoying the photos so far and this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and it helps me out. It gives me a bit of confidence boost to know that I'm still doing a half decent job. So I am currently annoyed for two reasons. One, there was a great shot just around by Lily White's where there's a video playing of footballers sort of like in, being interviewed by children. And one of the screens where the two kids doing this on the screen to camera. And just stood in front of it, it was a guy on the phone just doing this. And I thought that would be a really, really cool shot if I could get him being sort of bald, bored and a couple of people on the video doing this behind him. And not knowing how long the video is, I stood there for about 20 minutes waiting for the video to go on the loop with my camera just sort of stood there looking like a proper plum luckily he never looked up until he eventually moved away so that i'm gutted out so i've been able to make a really really good photo also i've actually tripped over a curb and i've taken the front of my trainer off just here look look check this out look at that can i see it can i get you to see it look at that flapping about Good news is, uh, yesterday I ordered myself a brand new pair of trainers. So uh, they can't get here soon enough. But yeah, I've now got a flappy bit on the front of my trainer. But I'm quite happy with some of the photographs I've taken today, even though I've definitely missed a rare handful of them. But yeah, it's, it's nice to get back in the swing of things. It's nice to sort of like do this again and you know, I have been sort of like meaning to sort of try to meet up with a few people again as well. So I'm, I might organize my own one. So if there's something you might be interested in, give me a shout. I know a few people have already said yes to it. But of course, if you are, you know, meeting up in London with a group of photographers, I'd be more than happy to come along, hang out with you guys and potentially vlog it as well. So that'd be pretty cool. But um, I'm going to take a few more shots. I might head up back through Soho and head back to Oxford Street Tube Station make my way home and uh, hopefully my trainer won't annoy me too much. Right, so that's gonna be it for this little adventure. Hope you enjoyed having a bit of a wander with me. So I've done a complete loop. I've started off at Oxford Street Tube Station, gone all the way down the Piccadilly Circus, come up through Soho, and I'm now back outside Piccadilly Street Station, not Piccadilly, Oxford Street Station. And yeah, I have to admit, for the first little photo walk that I have done in probably four months, I'm, I'm pleasantly happy. Obviously, once I take the photographs home and I've had a bit of an edit with them, I'll know exactly how happy I'm going to be with them. But that's it, guys. I'm not going to uh, drag you on any further. But if you have enjoyed this video, like I said before, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and becoming part of the journey. But until next time, guys, have a wonderful week, month, year, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.